Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. And it's Friday, so that means it's another installment in the page by page of collaboration with Keon Shotwell Books and um, or signatures, which are going to end up being a book. Um, and w this is week 35. And the prompt this week is nature. And I picked this prompt and then I thought, okay, now what am I going to do? And so, um, let's put our prompt list to the side and then this is one signature and we still have five pages left to go um, we left off with industrial so this week we're going to be on this page which is page 34 because they put the industrial on 35 so I could have the charm which has now disappeared between the pages the key charm because that's the key that turns on the machine that has the gears I'm so clever sometimes so we're gonna have this page here and um, we don't have anything hanging off the page this time um, in fact today is kind of an experiment so we're actually gonna have to take this page out Let's see if I can. Is there anything bumpy? No. I'll turn this this way so I know where to put it back in. So that it's flat enough that we can work with it. Now I'm going to write the PDF for this page afterwards. Um, make sure everything works out. So this is the page we're going to work on. This is the big old box I keep all this stuff in and um, we're also going to go let me set that to the side and the prompt list I had a big pile so we may have an avalanche um, and so what we're going to do this week if it's not an epic fail like um, last week I did an epic fail um, <laughs> so uh and I don't remember if it was the page by page for this or the page by page two, which I do on Mondays. I get confused. I'm confused. And um, so what we're going to do is should be fairly simple. I went through my bucket o mushrooms, which is fairly large, this big, and I took most of them out. And I was looking at them and I think we can put most of them back. Um, I've got my little uh, uh, collage book pages which are just torn up book pages ready and um, my bucket of flutter buys. Just look at that thing. It's insane and I got some more that I need to have my machine cut out. Sometimes I like my machine and sometimes I don't just depends depends on what I'm cutting out okay so we've got all these mushrooms and we can at least put them like this because I'm pretty sure we're only going to use the two that I have picked out so actually we can lay these right on the top so let's get them out of the way look at that big bucket of mushrooms I love mushrooms and flutterbys I don't know if you can tell or not. <laughs> and I have a big bunch that are paper clipped together in the bottom that have white borders. Don't know when I'm going to use them. You never know. And I also have some of these, which I'm now going to paper clip together with my magnetized paper clips. I have a big magnet. And I've stuck it to my lamp and then I stuck all my paper clips to it so it looks like art it's pretty cool actually all right so today's is simple she says confidently what you're going to need are glossy accents no we're not glossy accent in any of this um our flutter buys are drying they're on the standby i'm not sure uh if we're just going to use one or probably just one but of course I did four because <laughs> I was having fun and the whole plan 
this is um, yeah it's not construction paper it's the other stuff anyway um, cardstock so uh, what my plan is is to make a postcard the back of the postcard is going to be this coffee dyed paper that uh, turned out to be kind of an epic fail but now is going to help us a lot because it's got all this texture and stuff and so this is going to be a perfect thing to put on the back of our postcard for our writing area okay so I'm wondering if we shouldn't do that first before we start collaging on the other side it's not like it's going to wrinkle the page or anything and this is going to be our backing page or actually yes I cut it the whole size let me double check and make sure so there's no paper and backing paper there's just paper yes this is the full size as if it had backing paper on it the way I normally do it so this is what we're going to use I have a bigger postcard that I thought I would use but then I thought no that's not really postcard size that's writing card size and um, but I don't have a postcard thing but I do have a postcard stamp so we'll have to think about that I mean yeah like a regular postage stamp is what I'm trying to say so let's take a look there's the smaller one. Oh, and I have glossy accents and uh, vintage photo ink all over my hands it's not that I just don't ever wash them and if the if the uh, Fabri-Tac does not take the glossy accents off my nails then I may paint my nails <laughs> with, with the glossy accents all right or I'll probably just be relegated for the rest of my life to never wearing any nail polish at all I don't know I kind of like this bigger one better small one big oh look at that small one on the big one on the page oh I like it I like it a lot so we'll collage on this we'll frame it with that flip it over and then we'll put this on the back oh I like that idea sometimes if you talk out loud I always talk to myself out loud then it helps you work through your ideas and it makes them better so I'm gonna go ahead and ink this may have to do it again once we get to collaging it may not show I'm definitely gonna do it on the back side it's gonna show back there and I think we might want to cut our paper for the for the back first as well you know what I mean do the stuff that might be impacted by collaging first um, I'm not going to be using gel medium um, because it will make the ink on this uh, printer paper run promise you it will so what we're going to do is um, my old standby which is we're going to glue each page on yes we are and we're going to ink the newspaper pieces as we put them down okay so now here's our bigger card and we need to do both sides of this did I do that already no and I'm following the trend and using the dome shaped um, dauber ends and um, I have to say except for your when you're trying to get into little little crevices um, I like them because I think <laughs> I think that I, I'm like a 15 year old boy my voice cracks all the time um, I think that um, we will 
Oh, I had a friend that had to go to the hospital today. And so if my phone rings, um, I, I'm going to put you guys on hold and go answer it, just so you know. So you don't think I was rude and didn't mute my phone. I'm filming with a webcam. So it's not like the phone overhead is going to ring. It's across the room. And now that I've decided to do it this way, we only have to ink this on the one side. See, I was getting confused. I live in the land of confusion. I am the queen. The rest of the people are my subjects. <laughs> so that means you guys. Yes, I am speaking of you. All right, so we got that, we got that, and we got this one. This is exciting. This is a fun way to start the video. So now we're going to cut the paper on the for the back and we're going to do the same thing we're, that we're going to do on the front um we're going to leave a border border can't talk today who knew who knew there would be days that terry could not talk i can talk all the time all day every day well sometimes i get quiet on the videos and i apologize for that but I'm not necessarily, which you can't tell by today, but I'm not necessarily a chit-chatty person. I kind of get to where I don't know what else to say. Not that I don't have interests and that I'm not interested in other people's thoughts and feelings and things that are happening to them. I actually are. I actually are. I actually am. Um but I just don't know how to carry on a conversation without sounding nosy. I don't know, has that ever happened to you? I think I heard Oz starting to stir, so he may actually make an appearance. Oh, that'll work well. So then we want our card to fit this bigger one. If you hear me say one, two, three, it's not to you guys and I'm not testing the mic. What is happening is I'm trying to get Oz to be quiet. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I have had a thought. What if we make the, pa the, the brown paper smaller than this? Then you'll see this border behind that. You see what I'm saying? And then this with the collage, so it'll be black and white on top of there. Huh. Because, because this would be too flimsy. That's why. As you can see, I did a stamping experiment. And of course, you can see it through the paper. I don't know how you guys do it. Yeah, there's some kind of magic trick and you guys have to tell me how you ink without it going through it goes through everything I try to ink except for your really heavy stuff like this um, I'm at a loss I don't know why okay so let's take our bigger paper let's see we don't want to do that it's just Let's make sure we get that really bad goopy area in the center. Or not in the center, but on the thing. Okay. So this is the bigger one, which is going to be the card. Okay, I'm just making sure that my thought processes are correct. Now, I'm not going to cut it here. I'm just showing myself where it is so I can cut it out a little bit smaller. 
You got me? Or maybe I should just, if it's a postcard, then it probably should be just even. So, if we put this to the edge, are we still going to get, yes, we will. So let's glue it onto the edge. Whoever that is outside stomps up and down the stairs. They're going to drive my dog nuts. I don't know why that drives him nuts, but it does. Okay, those are just little guidelines to help me out. And it doesn't matter, since we've inked both sides to be efficient, which side we glue down to this paper. I hope this works out because it sounds like a fun idea. Mushrooms and butterflies are definitely nature and so are postcards because they have lots of postcards in nature. I've seen them growing in the woods. <laughs> All right, that's enough of those bad jokes. No, probably not enough. There's never enough. The world needs as many bad jokes as possible. Just ask ALEXA every day and you can get a bad joke. Where do you think I get mine from? No, I'm kidding. The reason I wrote, or wrote, the made the lines is because they wanted to make sure to get that spot from the paper on the other side of this paper. Okay? And since I can't cut a straight line to save my life, and apparently I can't glue paper in a straight line, right. oh, it's gonna be nice. It'll give us some nice texture. Anyway, I'm going to put the glossy accents away because I used them on the butterflies, and I'll show you those in a minute. They're definitely not dry, but they are sitting on a surface that I can pull over here under the camera and show you. And I also did some little magic with them, and um, I pushed in on them as the glossy accents were drying, was drying, and I got their wings to kind of stand up. It's pretty cool. Worked better on a couple of them. One of them I accidentally touched his head and the paper ripped, but that's all right. What are black sharpies for anyway? Except for drawing butterfly heads. It's all they're good for. It's what they were invented for. Butterfly heads. And that's what this was invented for. People like me who cannot cut in a straight line. Now we're going to have to ink that again. Accidentally shaved a little bit off. Not even a sixteenth. I mean literally a hair. There we go. Okay. We have to ink this side anyway. Hmm. 
I have to be careful around the Fabri-Tac too. I almost, I had some on my hand and I didn't realize it. And I touched the underside of this. It's still on there today. But um, I almost glued it down. Yeah. I almost glued it right down. I would have been very upset. It's my favorite paper trimmer. I do have the great big rotary paper trimmer by them that I like too, but it's so big. It has a 12 inch platform. It weighs six pounds, just so you know. If inquiring minds wanted to know. I'm talking so much, I'm losing my voice. Allergies. I know, allergies in the winter, people say. How is that? Well, you're in your house a lot. If you have house allergies, dust and things. I have to wear a mask just to dust my house and to vacuum. Isn't that sad? I think that's sad. Okay, so we got that part done. So now, oh, they're over there. Now we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to start collaging the paper onto it. You see what I mean? It won't take that long because it's not that big of a piece of paper. Oh, look, I just did a kiung. <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> but I think that little finger thing she does is cute. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I wonder what prompt she's going to pick for next week. See, I can do... It, whenever you pick the prompt, or the other person picks the prompt, you know what prompt you're going to pick. So you can actually do two videos at once. Well, not at once, but the same day. Well, the same, you know, couple of days. And then you don't have to make any till the next one when the other person picks again. Let's see. And I've got an idea about covering the bottoms of the mushrooms. We're going to put the mushrooms on top, and then we're going to put some more paper across the bottom to cover the bottoms because you cannot have a bare bottom. And I think it's not going to matter where we put them or what it says. Oh, it's talking about trees. Wow. I think I'm going to tear this part off, though. I don't really want the white spot on there, on the border. So, what have you guys been up to? Anything interesting? Put it in the comments below if you've been doing anything fun. And it doesn't matter if it's something that other people wouldn't think was fun. Maybe you enjoy housework. Put it down there. Maybe you're like me and you enjoy crafting. Crafting all the time. I am actually literally, and my doctor hates this and my back hates this, hands. Don't tell anybody. Um, probably 10 or 12 hours a day. I'm on the computer a lot of times, so it's not just um, making videos, even though I love making videos. So mostly it's making videos and editing videos. Look at there. That's what you're for. Okay. I know. I know. You're lucky I'm not collaging in squares. So don't give me any grief over this. The planning. And it wouldn't hurt. If any of this paper showed through, that wouldn't hurt anything. It would make me crazy. I 
don't mind getting Fabri-Tac on this glass surface because I just take my razor blade and scrape it right off. And then, then I get out my little ladybug and I vacuum it up. I have a little vacuum that looks like a ladybug. Alright, so let's put this one on first. Trying to figure out what states these look like in my head. It's kind of silly. It's the uh, Fabri-Tac fumes. Yeah, that's it. This one's talking about mold. Mold in trees. This is talking about women in labor. <laughs> Is that so appropriate? Okay. I guess I could have done part of this, but you know what? I would have done part of it on the wrong piece of paper. I would have been doing it on the big piece of paper because if you remember that's what I was originally going to do is collage on the big one. I can hear someone running. I hope they don't run into our stairwell. I don't know why my new neighbors, two or three of them, um, Oz used to be the only dog in the building now there's a pit bull and a weimariner which are very big dogs when they come down the stairs they're like bruh, bruh, bruh. it's like a horse coming down the stairs and it makes my poor little dog go crazy every time every time normally he would only bark when somebody came to the door or the people would go inside their door next door because he thought they were at our door if you know what I mean. But lately, poor little guys having coronaries and conniption fits over anything. Now look, that's like Oklahoma or something, isn't it? Arkansas? I don't know. Okay, let's see where we're gonna put those. doesn't really matter anyone can see it doesn't really matter to me have you noticed oh no they're not I was gonna say all the pages are right side up leave it to me I just noticed it it wasn't like I did it on purpose All right, I did it on perp. No, I didn't. And I did, yes, just make a song reference. You get a bonus point if you write in the comments what song that was. And who sang it? That's an extra bonus point. trying to go quick, quick if I had started it though it would have given away what we were gonna do and like I said it would have been on the wrong paper that fabric tack lets you kind of slide them around too I don't really have much luck with um, art glitter glue I know a lot of people really like it and I think they're just quicker they're quicker than I am and they know right where they want whatever it is they're gluing down to be they don't need that smush it around 
see if it fits kind of deal going on. It would almost be cool if we left the edges rough, but I let some of them hang out too far. Oh my glue, I wish I had filled it. It is halfway full. I love having my bottle completely full. It's like when you put gas in your car, you should fill it up once and then every time it gets down to half, then you put half a tank back in. Then you always have a half a tank of gas. Now we are gonna put the mushrooms in the middle. So there are some places that we don't necessarily have to. Yes, we're gonna have to. There goes one of the dogs. Wow. See, after I said that, he stays nice and quiet. don't like it when you tear it and it's got that the, the white I want the, the raw side well we're halfway done folks we got the paper on the back of the card we made our decisions decision making is always you know a tough thing bound and determine that little spot is not going to show. I don't know why I do my fingers out when I'm waiting for the glue. It's like people drinking tea, I guess. Look, I put one on upside down. Look at that. Do you know how bad I want to turn, <laughs> turn that right side up? You don't even want to know. And this is cheerily, cheerfully, heartily cheery. See? See what you almost let me do? because I stopped talking and then you guys decided ha huh, we'll get her she's gonna forget to ink it oh oh I got some good news I'm gonna see my son next week and um, since I moved out here which has been 20 years this year I've lived out here in the Seattle area for 20 years I love it out here my family want want me to move my family wants me to move back there oh, square piece I guess Anyway, so I haven't seen my son in person in 20 years, believe it or not. I know. We're just not a wealthy family and we can't afford plane tickets. And even the red eye, I don't mind flying at night. I loved flying planes, as a matter of fact. Um, my goal was to be an astronaut. So you got to start out as a jet fighter, a jet pilot get over there and stay over there 
Anyway, so he's going to come visit next week. He's going to be out here for work, and he is going to come visit. And even though he's only going to be here three days, and we're only going to meet once because he's going to be an hour away. So since he's here for work, he does actually have to work. Um, then I'm going to get to Sam, even if it's just for dinner. Very excited. Very, very excited. And what's so funny is he's like really tall. And I'm only five feet tall. I have trouble sitting in chairs without my feet swinging like I'm a small child. I think I'm even smaller. I actually had to call my office at my apartment complex and ask if they could drill a hole and put a new peephole in that was lower down because I couldn't see out of mine. And I didn't think it was safe. Of course, this area is really safe. Let me put you down here. Um, and I practically have to give the EMTs a key. <laughs> Even though I don't know them. Let's see if I have any already tried. Smaller. Oh, here's a batch. We're almost done, folks. We're getting there. there we go. But they said no. They can't do it. They're metal doors. You just drill a hole and you put the peephole in, you install it what maintenance people are for, isn't it? Now, I can wait on this one. Tear this. I don't say why tear it. Just use the other side. That didn't have the big white side on it. Okay, we can use this as well. Use these two to cover the bottoms of the mushrooms. So we only need two more pieces, um, but not necessarily. As big as those. So you don't want to all of a sudden have great big giant pieces down here. I realize I can tear them. I don't know why I'm looking through them for smaller pieces. It's kind of silly. They're there for me to tear up. <laughs> they are mine to do with as I will. You know, I don't have anything written down this week. So I'm going to have to make something up to type up for you. Maybe I'll just write a story or something. A story about mushrooms and flutterbys, which I have to remember to show you. And I would just like to say, now that I'm inking the last one, I'm very proud of myself for inking each and every one of these pieces that I have glued down. Pretty sure that's my last one. My big giant watch I just whacked in on the, on the table. Okay, so we can take these two big ones and set them to the side. Let's glue these three or four on the bottom. You are relegated out to the boonies out there with the ink pad. I think it's because I ate a granola bar because I know you guys are always eating. Some of you have confessed to me that you had been eating while you're watching my videos. Mm-hmm. And so it always makes me hungry. So... I ate a granola bar because, because I'm not going to let you guys get me this time. <laughs> you are not going to be munching and crunching in the background where I can hear you 
while I am busy working. I think that's a bit rude, really, to tell you the truth. I wonder if I turn that around a bit easier. Yes, yes, I believe it would. I think we're gonna need one more piece. Of course we are. Maybe two. I know. I almost did it. Would you guys laughed hysterically or just went, oh no. You know, I'm sure there would be a way. Yeah, you ink paper and put it over the top of those pieces of paper. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I have way too many, but let's put this one across here and that'll cover that up. And we're going to need something over here. And on the other side, probably. Let's just go ahead and do that. What do you think? I pre-ink the mushrooms. So there's that. <laughs> then we'll have to wait till this tr for this to dry before we trim it. So I may not be able to. Um, oh boy, we gotta trim it before we glue it onto the back piece, huh? Or do we? Actually, we don't. That's redonkulous. I tore this piece a little bit and re-inked that edge. this is going to be the page that's all right on this one because it can stick out a little bit harder to tear it when it's wet is nature okay I vote that we leave it there is a little spot right there that's not covered I'm just saying last piece mushroom two big pieces over the bottom of the mushroom No idea why I did that. And all I want to say is that you're very lucky that I'm gluing this piece of paper on upside down, or we would have had a very bad word <laughs> facing upward on our collage. That's okay. I 
Oh, I need to put them more even. Why? Why do I? Look at all the glue around there. I have newspaper stuck to the end of my finger. See? <laughs> You're probably like, you silly person, just take it off later. It was driving me crazy. Now it's making me even more crazy. Wouldn't come off. <laughs> Apparently I'm going to have to wash my hands in acetone, which is going to be fun. Okay. Mushrooms are inked. I just put that one farther up. Then I'm going to put one of the butterflies on top of that one. I just couldn't decide. So I did this monarch. And I did two blue ones, I think. I think I'm going to go with the blue one. Because it's going to contrast the most. Plus, it's the one that I got the wings to bend. Oh, darn. It's going to get smushed in the book, isn't it? I guess it does not matter. Sticking to everything. Everything is sticking to me. I'm not sure I like that. They just don't want them to look like they're floating. You know what I mean? I don't want it to look like I just... Uh-huh. Like I just stuck them on the page. Okay. Hopefully this one. And we'll glue this one to that one that one in the book and we won't be done so you won't be able to put the butterfly on during the video because it's still too wet well that looks kind of cool because it looks like it's going up okay i like that Not really happy that there's the one big piece up there. Do I want to break it up with a smaller piece? I think I do. I see that one big piece is out of out of out of whack. That piece is too big too, but there's not really anything I can do about it. And I realize it's a collage. <laughs> I know. I know people. But you guys know me. And, well, basically it's my way or the highway and I'm always right. But, <laughs> but, okay. Here we go. So there's all that. Now, well, that dries a little bit, just for a second. 
I'm going to show you the butterflies. You make sure there's no wet glue on the glass surface. Make sure everything that got on there is dry. Okay. This is my cigar box. Oh, butterflies. Da 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 da. Can you see them? Look at this one. Bum ba da ba. And see how it moves back and forth? Yeah. That's because his wings are bent. I don't know if you can see that or not. The monarchs are the are as well. Should not have laid them on my really good cigar box. That was stupid as well. The monarch ruined it. I just thought, oh, set them up there out of the way. Really upset at myself for that. I could find a way to clean that off. Well, so much for Terry's happy, ecstatic mood. Darn butterflies. I should have put something down. It's my own fault, obviously. Let me throw this in here, too. Let's. Okay, now we can set this aside with the mushroom bin. Let's get these two papers out. Now, this is our card, so we're not obviously not going to glue that to the page. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to make um, two thin strips here that are just going to be tucks. The page is going to be so curved, I don't feel safe with just making an up tuck. You know, we're just sticking it up. I wonder if I made a corner tuck, if it would stay up in there. Well, I could make a corner one, and if it doesn't stay in, in the future, I can just make another corner one, and then you can still, you know, bend it a little bit and get it out. Let's do that. Let's make an up tuck in the corner. Up tuck. I like that. Okay. Yeah, my pencil is here. You're probably going to hear a timer go off in just a couple of minutes. And that's only because I um, try to stay to an hour. Ha ha. Um, simply because my um, the size of the file. Alright, so we need to cut it up this way and then over that way. I guess I should stop, stop talking for a minute. I always cut these wrong, just so you know. If I cut this like that, yeah. You know, I could just make a corner and turn it, couldn't I? Duh. I mean a corner, never mind. Should we collage on it? What or oh, what do you think? Or should we leave it brown? 
Well, that's obviously not going to work because that is not a triangle. All right, we get to try this again. I don't know why I can't do triangles in my head. I know you guys are all yelling, just do it corner to corner. Which is what I just remembered is how you do it. Everything is sticking to my fingers. Well, already then. I wish it had been bigger. Maybe not. Look, more inking. Let me set that for just 15 minutes. And then it'll gain. Then I'll know it's been an hour and 15 minutes. Let's see if this is going to work. I don't know, this is going to be pretty heavy. I don't think it is. Actually, it will. It's going to work. It is going to work. If it doesn't, we'll put another one on the other side and slide the card up under there. Where's my other one? Let's save that little puppy. Do you remember when I said all we have to do is glue that card to that card? and then glue it to the page and we're done. Do you remember that? <laughs> it's not my fault. So I was gonna do the thing where it looks like tape, but then I decided, no, you're not gonna really be able to bend it to get it out. Okay, and then let's glue this to this. And that's got our writing on the back. Oh, this is cool. I'm liking it. Liking it better than I thought I would. To tell you the truth, when I had the idea, I thought, oh, that's never going to work. All right, I'm just leaving the paper glued to my hand for now. I hope you guys can appreciate how difficult that is for me. Mommy, my hands are dirty. As you see, almost everything's put away already. Darn it. That might be why you're not supposed to glue it on top of the thing you're trying to glue it to. Okay. So now... We don't have to super worry about the edges, do we? I love this. Nature. Then, this butterfly, always beautiful, 
it's going to sit. Right there. I don't know. I have a smaller one. My beautiful blue almost looks too big. I could put him up here. I'm putting him on this page. I'm telling you right now, he's going on this page. If I have to put him underneath the page on the other side on the writing side, I will do it. All right. They have to finish drying, so we can't do that. All we can do is this part. Okay, now we're going to glue this to the book. Got a little danglies hanging out everywhere. Let's double check. Mm hmm. Why is it a little long? Don't know. Oh, I bet I need to take an eighth off. it over. And I think this, um, oh, cardstock just made the difference, you know. I don't think cream paper would have done it, you know, cream, uh, all right, so this isn't cardstock. What the heck is it called? I know what it's called, I promise you I do. I really do. I just can't remember it. Maybe it's just brown cardstock. But it's got the fibers. You know, the fibers. Put our tuck on the top. Remember, this is pretty rounded. try to get this as far over as I can keep this as far away from the inside seam as we can because it's really gonna have to bend that's why I think that butterfly is almost a hopeless cause I may have to put glossy accents on a little flat one I could use I could use this one that might be a little more you know, ink it and glossy accent it. So anyway, by the time you see the photograph that represents the page that goes along with the video, then um, you will uh, see that um, the butterfly is on there. You know what? Oh, this tucks up. I was like, we forgot to glue this to the page, but we don't glue it to the page, do we? I need to glue this down better right here. Right here. It's going to get caught. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, bud. No, we aren't going to put that up under there, are we? While well, the glue's wet. No, mommy. Okay, so we're going to add a butterfly after the butterfly is dry. We're going to stick this up under the tuck after the tuck is dry. So, that is our page. And that makes this our video. And so, that means I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.